Hi there, fourth grade. Welcome. This week we have a special assignment and our theme this week is we can do it. We can do a distance learning, we can do our science work, we can get it all done. So this is your big assignment. Get caught up on weeks one, two, three, and four. That's your big assignment this week. This is a fourth grade science page on Schoology. This is what it looks like for a teacher and I know it's a little different for kids. But right now I'm in the materials section and you have that section too. Going back to week one, you are expected to go into the folder and click on all of the things within a folder. In the folder for week one, there was a discussion board that I needed an answer from you from. There was a video to watch and there was a worksheet that went with the video. For that worksheet, you were supposed to download it to Notability, write on it, and turn it in here for the assignment. And there were directions how to turn in an assignment on Notability, and there was a tour of Schoology. When I put many resources in a folder, I expect you to look at those resources. I can't be at school to help you with all of your questions, so I have to give you lots of information. Right here, week two. There was a discussion board, ice cream or milkshake, and there was an assignment about gases. And for that assignment, there was, I put it in the assignment and separate. Here were the directions. Here was the worksheet. And the video for you is all about the work. But each week I've had an assignment and a discussion board. There's been a lot of kids doing just the assignments or just the discussion boards, which is Wonderful that I see you on here, but I would love to get more kids doing both. So, week three, we had a Kahoot game to play. The game was meant to be fun, but this worksheet here and this assignment could get done without Kahoot because I gave you all of the information here and here and here and here. So even if you're not playing the game, you can still go into the assignment and complete it. And again, an assignment and a discussion board. So now coming to week four. Week four, I thought I was going to make it a little easier because some kids said they're having trouble with the videos. Week four, your assignment is to wash a table and draw where the water goes. Your discussion was about what table did you wash. And to help you explain where the water goes, I gave you two resources. So some kids drew just a picture of a table with water, but I was really hoping to get more. Sometimes Schoology does this, and there's this really cool box with an arrow on Schoology. If you hit that box, it makes the website or the link open without Schoology, and it opens better, and you get to come here to Study Jams. Study Jams lets you learn all about a topic, and I'm going to go fast so that you have a chance, and it tells you all about in a fun, quick, short way. You this is above 32 degrees. The states of matter are solid, all there, liquid. and when you get to the end, I'm going to fast forward here, there's a way to check your learning. You close it, and there's a little quiz to test yourself, and there's lots of learning to do. Study Jams is a great way where you can get more information about our science topic. So if you're not sure what's going on when you wash a table, then you should be going into Study Jams. FET is one of your favorite websites from when we were at school together. And FET has really cool things to help you learn about what's going on with these states of matter. If it doesn't work great, hit this box with an arrow. That's a really good Schoology tip. You can get it out of Schoology and just have FET open up on its own website. Here on FET, this is about states of matter. And you can do either one or both. And you can have a little fun adding heat and you can remove heat. And you can see how those molecules change. You can see what the molecules look like as a solid, as a liquid, or as a gas. You can switch from neon to argon, to oxygen, to water. And I really hope that this could show you if you have a liquid water on a table that you washed, and it just has the natural heat in the room and some time what might happen to those water molecules that are on a table when you wash it. These resources are there for you. So when you're on Schoology, oh, wrong one, I should go to that soon. When you're on Schoology, 
I am asking you to look at the different resources in the folder and every week there is a new folder. Well, everyone, week six, Miss Bush is going to start talking about some penguins. And there's some penguins that have a problem and they're going to need some engineers to help them. But we're not there yet. So this week, your assignment is to make sure you've completed everything on the science page. So your assignment this week is to get caught up. What do you think, Habanera, can they do it? Habanera is saying yes. Javier and I have some work to do because every fourth grader that is caught up on their work is going to get a special postcard in the mail for Miss Bush. And I'm not going to tell you what the picture will be, but I will tell you that I have my fabric out and I have my scissors out and Javier and I are going to be working on our own project while you get caught up on your science work. Send me an email if you need help. And remember, we miss you. And we love seeing your work. It's like a little treat to see you. So please keep turning in that work. And please keep writing comments on the discussion boards. I love hearing from all of you. I miss you, fourth grade. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, did I say that? Yeah. You will get a postcard in the mail. And it's a secret picture. But only if you have all of your science work turned in. What? Wave, Habanera. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.